Hello, welcome to today's video. Oh my god. <laughs> so today as I'm filming this clip is the day before results day. Uh, oh my god. So I thought I'd do this like intro right now because I'm not going to want to like film early in the morning and stuff. Kind of go through um, my subjects and like the grades I need and like stuff like that quickly. So I do three A levels, biology, chemistry and maths and I want to do maths and economics at uni and I need AAB for my first choice university. I need an A in maths and then AB in my other two subjects so yeah maths is definitely my best subject and then probably biology and then chemistry is my worst. I'm quite worried about chemistry um I'm not gonna lie like that's definitely gonna be a bit of a push I think I don't know, we'll see. I'm really nervous. I really want to get into my first choice. I'm not somebody with like a second choice that I really like. I know they always say like, make sure you like your second choice, but like, I really just don't want to go there, honestly. So it's like, I really want to get the grades for my first choice. So at my school, they email us the results at like 8 a.m. I think, or maybe 7 a.m., maybe 6 a.m. Like, I don't know. We don't know what time they're emailing it, just as soon as they're like as soon as they're ready to and then UCAS track opens at 8 a.m um which will just say if you got in or you didn't get in not what grades you got but like it says 8 a.m but I like I think most years it opens earlier so I don't really know what time honestly I don't know what time I'm gonna get up or anything um I think I'll just get up at seven and then try and check but because they email us our results I'll like film my reaction to that and also to the UCAS thing um yeah we still have to go into school I don't know if we get like the individual marks emailed to us or if it's just the grades um but we still have to go into school I don't really know why they just want us to so I'm gonna do that as well <sighs> yeah I'm so nervous like I can't even really like <laughs> I'm just so nervous like it's gonna be really scary Two years ago, I had like the same thing for GCSE results day and I was nervous for that, but this is like so different. This is just so much more riding on this. And like, so in terms of how the like exams went, maths, my best one, it went, I had three exams, first two went like good and then the last one was awful. So I don't know about that. Biology was, Two of them were bad and one of them was okay and chemistry all felt like they went good but I always think that about chemistry and then I get like a bad grade so I don't know really what's going to happen with that. It all just depends on like the grade boundaries how everybody else did so I think that's everything I want to say but just quickly um obviously like success is all relative um no matter what grade I get if I'm like happy or sad that's just going to be like relative to what I personally thought I could do like my personal goals um if I'm like happy with a grade then it doesn't mean that that's like a good grade for everybody and like if I'm sad it doesn't mean that that's a bad grade for everybody it's just like my past like I have my personal ambitions for what I want to get and like obviously I want to get into uni so I want to get those grades and yeah I'm not trying to say that like any grade is good or bad it's just all like relative to your personal goals and like what you think you can do and like how you've been doing all year and everything like you just want to do what you think is good for you so yeah that's just quickly and yeah oh my god the next clip is gonna be me like tomorrow morning yeah it's gonna be at like 6am so if I look really bad that's gonna be why um yeah I hope you enjoy the video and I don't know what my results are right now so let's see oh my god hey good morning it's 6 20 right now um i just woke up like naturally and um, yeah i'm gonna go with my laptop i'm gonna go on to you guys and see if they've like opened their site yet i'm so like jittery i can feel like my heart going like <laughs> It says that the track is unavailable till 8. I'm gonna check my school email because they said they would send us our grades between like 6, 7-ish. 
and it's currently 6.22. I can feel my heart right now. That's not good for you, surely. And it is logging me in. Oh my god. It's here. I have the email. Literally three minutes ago. Oh, I don't want to open it. Okay. Your A-level results are attached. So I have an email and it's in like the attachment. Okay, so I guess I can just open it. Oh my god, no. Okay. I don't want to. That's good. That's fine. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I did good. I think. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So it is much later now. Um, I've been to school to get the paper results. Um, yeah, I didn't like talk about what I was getting when I opened it because I was a bit like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But now I'm gonna like go through my grades and stuff. So, um, in chemistry, I got an A, and that was my hardest subject by far. Like, I struggled so much with chemistry. I've never got an A before, all the mocks, tests, like last year and stuff, like I always got a B, I've never got an A in like a big test before, so I'm very happy to get an A, it's definitely like a bit of a push for me to aim for an A, um, and I got like a mid A, yeah I was like 16 marks away from an A star and 15 marks away from a B, so I got like a solid A which is really like really good, I think that's the grade I'm most proud of honestly because like I don't, I don't know, I just feel like that's like a big like achievement for me personally. Obviously I really wanted that grade but I was, I knew that it was going to be a push to get it. And then in biology I got an A as well. Um, I, I'm really happy with this A. I think like I'm so close, I'm 1% away from an A star which is really like kind of annoying um i've never got an a star in like a mock or anything but i just felt like i could have got one going up to the exam i was kind of like i'd love an a star but like an a um is obviously really good so i think i'm gonna get it remarked there's just a few marks extra that i need but i really don't see it going up because it's such a like scientific subject so i don't know but i'm really happy with an a in like those two sciences I think that's like they're hard subjects and um I definitely worked really hard I can't really have regrets because I feel like I worked really hard and like anything that I regret is just like silly because I know that if I'd done any more work I would have just like overworked myself and stuff like obviously like it's just kind of luck you know maybe if a better a question had come up in biology that I was better at like a different topic maybe I could have gotten a star but it's fine. And then in maths, I got an A star, which I was so happy with because maths is like my favorite subject. It's the only subject I'm carrying on with at university. And I just like, I really liked maths this year. It was definitely my favorite. I actually like enjoyed the content and I don't know, maths was definitely my favorite subject. So to have an A star is really, really good. Um, I got an A star in the mock as well. So I was really like aiming for an A star, but the last exam that I did was so bad, it was really really difficult, so I was really worried that I wasn't going to get an A star, um, but I did. Yeah, so overall I have A star, AA, I'm so happy with those grades. I would love to have A star, A star, A, like when I opened it I was kind of like, oh, like the biology, like I really thought that I could have gotten A star in that, but now like a few hours later I'm like so happy I don't really mind about not getting the A star in biology anymore like I also did the EPQ which is like a written like a 5,000 word essay and like a log book and stuff on like any topic of your choice basically um and I got an A star in that so uh, that's really good um I already knew I had an A star but it had to be moderated so um it didn't change so that's lucky which is nice because I don't do any essay subjects so it's like Good to know that I can still get a good grade and something that's a bit more essay based. So yeah, those are, that's my results. Like, oh my God, I am going to be going to my first choice university because of the results that I got today. And like, I'm so happy with them. I'm proud of myself. I think I put in a lot of work to get these grades. I, I tried really, really hard. Um, I did a lot more work than I kind of anticipated myself to do. Like 
I did more than I really expected of myself which is really good I'm just glad that it paid off obviously the biology I'm like not annoyed about because I didn't like expect an A star but just being that close to the boundary is kind of like oh but at the same time I don't mind because I did good it's like an A is a really good grade and I'm like impressed with an A for myself so I'm like completely fine with it it's just kind of like oh maybe if I'd done like 10 minutes more work before or something I could have got four marks but it's okay yeah when I went to school to pick up the paper copy I now have all the marks from the indiv individual modules I haven't really looked at them so yeah I guess that's kind of it for the video I hope you enjoyed this I love watching these videos I know this might not have been like the most interesting one because it's just literally all been right in this spot but um I didn't like open my results results at school or anything. I know I already said like success is relative and all that stuff but even if you didn't get the grades that you were hoping for this year like they really like don't define you. I think it's so easy to get like, caught up in like all the grades and the A levels and like everything like need to get a three A star and like, all of that sort of thing but really like so many successful people don't have that so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one.